guys. Yo, Brent, what's going on? I'm trying to get this thing level. Hey everybody, thanks for logging in. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. It doesn't really show me the, you hit a fade on that ball. No, that, that was a slight pull draw. The second one anyway. Back on the mats, yeah, I'd love to be back on the mats. It's very humid right here right now. Yeah, I've been grinding, my hands are like worn out. Junior golfer trying to get to scratch, just make sure that you, you golf every day. Do something for golf every day. And if you're young, you'll get there. And uh, get a good teacher that you believe in, you don't need to go there all the time, but you know, it's like the master's thing. If you want to be, if you're a junior and you want to be scratched, just drive, chip, and putt. Become the best driver of the golf ball. You you know, as far as straightness wise, you know, try to be do distance. Become the best chipper. You know, become the best putter. You know, the other stuff don't con You don't have to concentrate on this hard. This is the basic idea at the moment. This is for my backswing. Hand 
path on my backswing along this. And this is a hand and kind of left arm path on the downswing, all driven by the right. So it's basically here, and then I'm back here, and then I'm trying to feel like this. Back to the target, coming from the inside, driven from the right, and then fully finishing out that way. Meaning not like planting and going this way, but. That was the one I wanted. Yeah, Paul, that's one of the things. Uh, how do we make my practice effective? You know, just be real committed to, you know, doing what you're working on, not trying to flip around. So right now I'm really committed to this move that I'm doing. What does my wrist look like in impact? I don't know. Try to hit it straight. Okay. All right. Thank you, Paul. I'm try I've been trying so hard, dude. My left wrist looks like an impact flat, I hope, but I don't know. I don't really think about positions on the way down or even the way through.
my coach, Tony Lutzak, is always telling me to try to hit push draws, but that is so hard. When you make practice move, your head is in perfect position. My head. And that's okay. I don't want to hold it down too long. Yeah, Bobby Lopez says great stuff. I didn't see Bobby's video. No, I'm not shanking. Thank God, although maybe it'll come back. But I basically fixed it last night. I went to the range last night and uh, really, really working on it recently and finally had something that actually worked. Okay, guys, a little channel update for as far as what's going to be going coming on, coming up on Be Better Golf. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to interview this man named Lee Dietrich, who is uh, 73. I've, I took lessons from him years ago, like seven years ago or something, and uh, he's a really knowledgeable guy. If you look up Lee Dietrich Golf on YouTube, you'll see some videos. He was one of the original um, the golfing machine people. And uh, he's he kind of moved on from that now, but uh, he's got, that's kind of the, the background that I came from, the golfing machine, so he kind of speaks my language in that kind of way. And uh, Lee, uh, Lee teaches my friend Kendall, who's been on the channel before, and he's a good pro. And uh, anyway, so I just wanted to get Lee's opinion and just interview him kind of for posterity's sake and get his thoughts. He's, he's, uh, he's real into some of these things that, uh, that Manzella and Mike Jacobs and all those guys are doing, so it's cool. That was a five iron. Yeah, it's not automatic right now. I need a lot of practice swings and swing thoughts and other stuff like that to get it going.
寒い No No, I don't want to do that Okay. All right, let's see what you guys are saying. 
New York golf players. Uh, whatever. Swing looks good. Wh whatever. Yeah, Bobby doesn't like that either about my head. Yeah, well, a little bit better every day, David. What do you What do you want? That's all. I'm not just trying to. Uh, that's the whole point of the channel, right? Be better. I can. I can't do. I can't ask for anything more than a little better, right? It's um, compound interest of of golf improvement. You get one percent better every day, and then the next day you get one percent better of that total. Of and on and on and on, and then all of a sudden you're a whole lot better. If you try to get 25% or 110% better all in one day, you'll just crash. In my opinion. Okay. So, let's see what else is going on, guys. Hi to everybody in Canada. Hey, Robert, how are you? Hey, Robert, you really, really like that Zep thing, don't you? I was thinking about getting that to work on my hand pack. There's going to be a running clock. Everyone's going to try to... What happens to feet together in Flamingo? You know what? G-bomb. I don't know if... Swinging, uh, yeah, if sweet to, feet together and flamingo drill are, are very important. I don't know if uh, swinging slow though translates to swinging fast. You could become an expert at swinging. Swing, I, don't, I just motor control wise, nobody's proven to me that doing something in slow motion translates to being able to do it explosively and dynamically. You know what I mean? Uh, for example, uh, a baseball pitcher like said imagine him doing it real slow motion and I have seen baseball pitchers kind of do that kind of slow but I, I don't know I would need some like evidence that is actually really good I've had 69 four times Spencer no I'm passing up a scintillating preseason game for this yeah Ian what do you think about that the NFL I'm predicting that this year the NFL ratings will be the lowest they've ever been. They're in a bad they're in a bad situation. I mean they're they're in a good situation because it's uh it's a hot commodity but not as hot as it used to be. And all those ads and and, and TV rights and everything else are sold on how hot it was. And they had a bad year ratings wise last year. They're going to have a real bad year this year. Preseason has been terrible. And uh Personally, I mean, I used to be such a crazy Eagles fan. I just don't care. So anyway, that's my opinion about that. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna sign off. Uh, let's let's take like two more comments or whatever. Really stoked for the Steelers. All right, yeah, the Steelers are gonna be good. Can I ask why you don't hold a high follow through? Yeah, I feel like I cover the ball better when when I when I come a little lower. But when I go lower, I swing more left, and I don't like swinging left. Holding a high follow through might be a good idea. Yeah, Jake, invite me up. Anybody who wants to invite me to come play golf, I'll go up to uh, I'll go up to Northern California. There's like five be better golfers that want to play golf up there, and some of them are members of really nice courses. So, send me an email. Contact be at gmail dot com if you guys want to play. Do I enjoy a fade or draw more? A draw. Yeah, I'd like to come back east. I, I want to, uh, I really want to go back to Colonial Williamsburg. Maybe October. I'm doing a, a school with Tim Yelverton on October 28th weekend, uh, the short game expert. And I just don't know where it's going to be yet because almost every course in this area in California is over, is doing their seating then. So their short game areas aren't really good then. And October 28th in Williamsburg, Virginia, you know, that could be beautiful. It could be amazing. It could also be pretty bad by then. So I'm trying to think of a spot to do it. If anybody has any ideas, send an email to contactbebettergolf at gmail.com.
Later.